This video is sponsored by Blue Streak. Visit bluestreakignitioncoils.com to learn more. Coil on plug assemblies are designed to convert a low voltage, the primary side, to a high voltage, secondary side, to fire the spark plugs. They perform the functions of both the ignition coil and the spark plug wire. Today's coil on plug assemblies come in a variety of physical and wiring configurations. The typical configurations are two wires, three wires, or four wires. Some ignition coils contain a solid state driver module, which is part of the ignition coil and is controlled by the powertrain control module, or PCM. Others have the primary winding wired to and directly controlled by the PCM. One of the circuits that should be common to all ignition coils is the battery voltage power supply. The typical wiring configuration for a two coil on plug assembly includes battery power supply and the direct control circuit, or trigger, of the primary winding. This is very similar to the single ignition coil systems of the past. Most vehicles use a single strike to control the primary. For example, certain Ford applications use multi-strike at idle, meaning that it fires multiple times in one firing event. The typical wiring for a three-wire ignition coil on plug assembly is battery voltage power supply, ground, and control circuit trigger from the PCM to a transistor circuit in the coil on plug assembly. Four-wire coil on plug assemblies can involve a lot of commonalities as well, such as the battery voltage power supply, two ground circuits, and the trigger from the PCM to the solid state driver module. Some applications may use one of the four wires of the coil on plug assembly as a feedback circuit to verify proper ignition coil system integrity. Some ignition systems can change wire colors depending on the bank and cylinder, so it's always recommended to refer to service information and wiring diagrams for the specific vehicle you are working on. I'm Doug Kaufman. Thanks for watching.